Hello and welcome back. This is Steve of Backs Coins and welcome to the channel. This particular review is from a Royal Mint coin and this is a type of coin that you can only buy if you go to the Royal Mint. You cannot buy it through their website. This caused controversy last year because they produced one coin from each of the nations that make up the U United Kingdom. For 2024, they have just released the one for the Welsh Dragon. You can only get this coin, as I say, if you go to the Royal Mint and go through the Royal Mint experience. There you've got the Prince Charles his effigy and the 2024 date. This is a £5 coin and it is of the country of Wales, which you see printed there. Now, it talks about the father of the NHS, the first one. Now, this is probably uh, to do with. Nye Bevin, uh, was it Nye Bevin? They brought in the National Health Service and such like. I believe it was. Then you got some Welsh folklore in the Gender of the Dark. If you want to look at any of these or read any of these, please pause the video. And that one there is the Gender of the Dark. And finally, on the inner gate is behind the design. It shows there the one pound coin that was the original design factor that this coin is based on. And who was the designer, does it say? The obverse designer is Martin Jenkins, the reverse designer is Norman Silman. So I presume that's Norman there. On the back, on the last of the inner gate folds is you, the experience like never before. So it shows you about the experience, what we call the Royal Mint experience. This is where you can go along and you can go and watch coins being minted and then also strike a coin for yourself. And then the original marker it goes on about the five pound coin that you see today it's the Welsh Dragon on the back is where we started so let's take a look at the coin itself the obverse of the coin as you can see it's a very simple coin you have the five pound denomination written underneath the actual dragon itself and then you have a interpretation of the Welsh Dragon, one that we're all familiar with. Beautiful coin. I think the Welsh Dragon is probably one of the better of the national national beasts. Um, the, U the England one, if I remember last year, was the three lion passants. I think the Scottish one was a thistle. And the Northern Ireland one, I think it may have been a clover, although don't quote me on that, it, it may well have changed. If they do all four beasts as a slight difference this year to what they produced last year, if they are going to produce all four coins, it's very controversial last year. And the reason was that you cannot get this coin on the Royal Mint website. The only way you can get it is if somebody goes down and buys it for you which is what has happened in my case and I have to thank again my friend Bo Selector for getting me this coin he told me it was coming out and I said yes I would lovely I'd love to have one so huge thanks to him he goes to the mint on a regular basis he doesn't live too far from it so he goes on a regular basis and he gets coins for people like myself who can't naturally get down to the mint to be able to get these coins. It's things like Strike Your Owns when they change, which is why my Strike Your Own collection is quite extensive, is due to that gentleman. 
and also a couple had come from the secondary market. So, I hope that there's a difference this year if they're going to do all four beasts, all four coins again. In that they actually have a lion rather than just the three lion passants, which we know about for England. But they actually have, what was the Scottish one? Um, what's the Scottish beast? The unicorn. And then uh, the Northern Ireland beast is the great, is a great uh, deer. The, the magnificent deer that you see sometimes. I think it's called the giant deer of Northern Ireland or the giant. Something like that. That would make it a slightly different set of four nation coins. We're in the same position as we were last year and other years that these coins come out in the fact that you have to go to the mint or have somebody who pick one up for you when they go to the mint. Some collectors feel very uh, unhappy that this is the case and I can understand why. It's not um, the easiest thing to um, to balance out. People who can't get to mint would love to have these in their collection. The mints want to have a special coin that you can only be picked up at the mint. So where do you strike the balance? At the moment the mint is saying you can't get hold of them unless you actually visit the mint. It's done like a dangling carrot for you to come and uh, go to the mint so you can also pick up this coin. Is that the right attitude to have? I don't know. I think it leaves the mint open to people giving it a hard time because they're not getting any satisfaction in the fact that they can't get the coins that they want through the website. It's a difficult balance and I'm not sure what would be the correct answer for this dilemma. Um, and unfortunately it's not down to somebody like myself to change it. I can try and change it and say people should be allowed to buy it, buy the coin if they want to. Um, and there is a lot of uh, it's the way the Royal Mint normally works. However, they've chosen not to do it this way. And it is very, very frustrating for people who can't get down to the Mint. They have to rely on paying uh, larger prices on the secondary market. So, I'm not sure what the answer is. And it's a, I'm glad I don't have to make that decision. Um, to be brutally honest, it's something that is not an easy thing to satisfy all parties. Having said that, if you've enjoyed this video, can you please give me the thumbs up and like the video. If you haven't yet subscribed and you believe I deserve it, would you please subscribe to the channel? I am trying to grow my subscriber level again this year. I'm looking to try and get 425 subscribers by the end of 2024. I'm currently on around about two, just short of 280. If you're, I do five videos a week and sometimes six. So hopefully you'll find something that you enjoy watching. In the meantime, if you're having a hunt, I hope you have a successful one and you find the coins you're looking for. If you are buying coins, then I hope you can get coins you want for the price you want to pay. And for, for and thank you for staying till the end. And until we meet up again on this channel, which I hope will be not too far into the distant future, from me, thank you and bye bye. Ta-da now.